Hello everyone, I am Dhruv Advani. I obtained All India Rank 5 in NEET 2023 and I am currently a student of AIMS New Delhi. Today, I am here to talk about the complete revision strategy and the last month's strategy for NEET 2024 in order to allow you to revise all the information effectively. Let's get started. Alright, so I'll start off with the complete revision strategy. Now, first of all, before you can start revision, it is very important to ensure that you understand the concept properly. That means that before starting revision, you should try completing all your backlogs. You should ensure that you've paid attention in class. Uh, this is for those who are starting prep, pay attention in class. Make sure you don't, yeah, yeah, make sure you utilize that time effectively and your concepts should be clear. Even if you don't remember whatever there is to be memorized, your concept should be clear. You should understand everything. That is when it is best, in my opinion, to start revision because if you don't complete the backlogs and you start revising the concepts that you already know, it will just, the backlogs will never get over and it will only get harder to learn new information when you already have so much in your mind. So I would say first finish off with backlogs, okay? And this, I'm talking about this complete revision after you have completed, let's say if you've completed your 11th portion now, then you should try to start revising 11th if that's possible, but focus more on your 12th. At that point, you'll have enough time for two revisions and then two revisions before boards and one revision after boards. That is the kind of timetable I followed. Uh, yeah, I had three revisions before boards, but most people have two revisions before boards based on when your portions are finished. So, this uh, 11th grade, I would say if you can, it's great, try to revise, but if you can't, then this complete revision strategy will start for me, in my opinion, after 12th portion is completed. And how will this go? I would recommend you start by... First of all, whatever topics you are weak in, uh, take a page, write down all the top, all the chapters, make a list of the chapters you are strong, med your, that are strong for you, medium and chapters that are difficult for you. So, I am sorry, chapters that are easy, medium and difficult, divide chapters into three categories, easy, medium and difficult. And this is going to have to come from inside you, and maybe at the start all the chapters will be difficult but as you revise them they'll keep changing and I would recommend you make this in an excel sheet so you can move things around easily. So start with start revising your difficult chapters first and this is kind of a weird recommendation I guess but I would say leave the easy chapters for last start by revising your difficult chapters because it's very easy to leave the things we find difficult it's a very strong temptation ki oh ye samajh mein nahi aa raha ye baad mein karunga but the earlier you do it the more time you have to convert that weakness into a strength so start with your difficult chapters if you uh, then hopefully they will move to the medium category if they don't and you still find them difficult then you can keep them aside and do them later on but basically start with difficult then move on to medium and then at the end revise the easy chapters don't neglect the easy chapters either those are also important they will also come those are just concepts that are easier for you to digest or easier to remember or whatever all right so this is one important thing for complete revision and one more thing is write mock tests from the very start, as soon as you are done with your 12th portion, write mock tests. Even if you get 0 marks or you get negative 180, it does not matter. What matters is that you will be able to see your progression, how you are learning, how well you are learning and all. So, you should write full portion mock tests as often as you can. Also, as once you complete a chapter or uh, let's say a group of chapters, find a part mock test test whether it's either in your coaching or online or anywhere else find a part test and then do those also so full test you should keep doing i would recommend do one full portion mock test every week or every two weeks i would say okay yeah. every two weeks write a full portion mock test on the weekend and then um, i would say whenever you complete like a set of chapters you write a part mock test for that So, this will help you because you are writing, you are doing the questions also. 
so you will be able to see how well your preparation is progressing the areas where you're lacking and make sure you analyze these mock tests also it is very important to analyze these mock tests and maintain um, a record of the errors you're making why you're making those errors and how they can be corrected so errors maintaining error ka record or error log is important and revise the topics where you are making mistakes so what i used to do was um yeah this started for me a little bit late it started around uh, december i started doing all of this properly uh, but it is better to do it as early as you can because you will be perfect in your concepts by then and again solve as many papers as you possibly can this is your complete revision strategy and uh, if you look at the time basis because you have 11th grade and then you also have 12th grade to revise and you also have boards so i would say let's assume the portion is getting over in october uh, october 15th the portion gets over for uh, as far as i'm aware so if october 15th your portion gets over up to november 15th you should finish 11th revision as as far as possible you should finish 11th re revision and then up to december 15th you should complete your 12th revision you can also do it the other way around where you can revise 12th first and 11th next but i would recommend this because you've just completed 12th so there's like giving it a bit of space and then repeating it will allow it to stay in your memory for longer so ideally around december 15th ish you should be finished with 12th of course this has to be modified according to your availability when your thing is your portions are being completed however you're comfortable and all but this will be your first revision and in this you should write around uh, you will be writing as many tests as you can and uh, when you're revising 11th portion write 11th portion mock tests only like full portion mock tests for 11th grade when you're revising 12th then you start writing full portion mock tests including 12th and 11th and so on and so forth then 20th give yourself a few days break you'll be exhausted and this is this is a model okay please don't take this as is you should do it according to the way it works for you from december 20th to around january 20th oh no let's say jan 1st you should finish your 11th ka revision again um or let's say jan 5th, 5th it's a little bit yeah running close jan 5th so you're giving yourself around 15 to 16 days for 11th revision again you gave yourself 30 days the first time 15 days the next time now jan 5th to jan um let's say 20th you'll complete 12th portions again now after this what will happen is it's the, you might get involved in boards right you will have your board practicals in around jan and feb uh, feb beginning you will have your manual uh, your records to complete and all of that then you'll also have a board exam so you'll start preparing for that so if if possible between jan 20th and the end of your board exams let's say march 20th whenever you feel it is possible write mock papers and you don't need to maintain an error log at this time or all you need to do is keep the papers aside and once you're done with the board exams you've taken a day or two break then you start with analyzing those papers first and then writing new papers so basically from Jan 20th to March 20th, mock test only when possible. Don't stress yourself out about mock tests at this time. At this time, you're going to focus mainly on your board exams, your practicals, boards, everything that's happening. Only write no, uh, no analysis. Then, after March 20th, or after the end of your board exams, take a two to three day break. And in this two three day break don't do anything relax enjoy with your friends because it's going to really get hectic after this so make sure you enjoy yourself after your board exams and then we'll start with our uh, last month preparation so now i'll start with last month preparation strategy now we've arrived at 
you have one month and maybe one or two weeks left for your neat preparation now this is the time where you really have to gear up and start working very hard it's going to be ex uh, it is going to take a lot of work but it will be very worth it in the end so if you are going to revise ncrt again if you need to revise theory concepts of all chapters or whatever chapters you need to revise revise within the first two weeks of your last month that means by the time if, if we were going by that timeline that i just gave from march 20th to let's say april 1st or yeah, up to april 5th you will complete your entire revision whatever you need to do whatever your weekend you don't remember everything and try to focus on 11th at this time rather than 12th uh, i mean if you need some concepts in 12th to be revised do those but focus more on 11th because you've just completed your boards you would have already done the 12th concepts properly so now you're done with your complete revision and at this time also during these first two weeks also i would say write at least one to two mock papers a day no write one mock paper a day so that's going to be three hours 20 minutes time it properly and then you can of course take a break after that a few like hours of break and then you start studying ncrt and all but make sure that your one mock a day is being done during these first two weeks then from April 5th to May 1st. I think exam is on May 5th this time, I believe. It was May 7th for us. So, up to that point, after this, you stop doing the NCRT, provided you are done. If you are not done, take another week and finish it off. But if you are done revising, then you start with your proper mock paper time, where you are writing two or three mock papers per day as many as you can struggle as many as you can uh, handle okay and you are also analyzing those papers you're going through the concepts wherever you're making mistakes and you're also going to note down and make it make an error log okay so this gives you you uh, when you write two to three papers a day you'll be solving at least 50 papers in that time duration you'll be equipped very well equipped to write the neat exam now i'll come to the last week of preparation this i think is very important because this is now a de-stressing time so in this last week i i would say write all in like no difficult papers All the papers you write now, after May 1st or so, are going to be purely for confidence. Because you now you need to build your confidence, you do not want to write anything that you do not know. So, write easy, relatively easy papers, make sure you are doing them again in the same amount of time and all. But, easy papers and I will say two days before. Uh, I'll say no from uh, in the last week entire last week also revise your error log just go through the questions that you've gotten wrong and try to solve them uh, solve them once don't don't look at the answers there what you should do is solve the question and check if you're getting the correct answer you should not be making the same mistakes again if you are just remember ki, that's not a mistake I'm going to make in the exam I've made it here. I've understood what the mistake is. Then, on the second last day, I would say no papers. No papers, only error log. Whatever is remaining in error log. Also, in this time, if um, I would say in the time of mock papers, this one month where you're writing mainly mock papers, I would recommend you, re if you need to revise, if you feel like you should re be revising theory, revise inorganic, revise biology. Those things you can, these, those are like volatile things that can easily be forgotten. So keep revising them if you 
think you need to revise theory. Your second last day, don't do any papers. Do your error log and go through all of your mnemonics. Oh, I forgot to mention this. Sorry. So when you are preparing throughout the two years, create formula books, create mnemonics and mind maps. Formula book for physics and physical chemistry in which you are noting down all the formulae based on your memory like after studying it and understanding the concepts and then you also need to uh, note down the important theory points in there. Then create mind maps where you note down all the important terms and the concepts and their interrelations with each other. That will create a very good picture in your mind. And finally, create mnemonics for memorization heavy chapters like inorganic chemistry, DNF block elements, P block elements, all of those things. Create mnemonics that help you remember those uh, very easily. And so on the second last day, you are going to revise all of this. You are going to revise your mnemonics. You are going to revise your, uh, that's all. And formula book for any chapters you have problems in. Okay, mnemonics and a formula book for any chapters you have problems in. But main, I would say focus just on the mnemonics for inorganic chemistry. Okay, because that is something that will come and is a little difficult to remember. Then on the last day, do not study anything. This is, I mean, it's kind of a controversial recommendation. But this is what works for me. I did not study anything on the last day before NEET. In fact, I went out, I think, shopping or something with my parents. Uh, but do something that relaxes you and something that is not very physically tiring. It should be relaxing. Um, try not to watch TV. I would not recommend that because like if you start an interesting show that will stay on your mind and all and distract you. So rather I would recommend maybe talking to friends or walking around outside, take a good walk outside, rest all day, talk to your parents, talk to your uh, friends, whoever you can, if you have siblings, everyone and basically just rest that day, give yourself peace and um, in this time, if you are feeling stressed, give uh, engage in positive self-talk, tell yourself that it's all right, I will do my best and it's okay however I do, I will try as much as I can. And that will help you deal with the exam pressure and all of that. So do not, finally, do not study on the last day. And on the day of the NEET exam, wake up comfortably, take a shower, um, go to the exam hall, be ensure, oh yeah, and also on the last day, make sure you're prepared with your dress code, your requirements for exam, your like one ball pen that you're allowed to take and then your ID card, your admit card, make sure all of that is ready and well prepared. Okay, that is all that your last day will be dedicated to. And then sleep, make sure you get a very good night's sleep. It will be difficult. Um, a lot of us stay awake. Like I, I stayed up until like 3 a.m. because I was just awake. I was in bed but not able to sleep. And that's very normal but Make sure you're at least laying in bed and getting some rest because it's going to be a very tiring but very important day. And then next day, ensure you, like just write the exam, arrive at the exam center on time, make sure you, you're ready and be calm during the exam. Don't take too much pressure. You are, you're going to do really well. All the very best.